Hi everyone, here is a quick update on paper pattern of both the syllabus. I'm talking about CMA final law of 2016 syllabus and 2022 syllabus. So here is the paper pattern as suggested by the new uh, MTP which is released by the institute. So we expect and 99% we expect this particular paper only or this particular paper pattern only. So when we talk about 2016 syllabus, we have two sections. Section A, undoubtedly, it's 10 MCQs of two marks each, wherein you also have to write one line of justification, right? One line means one sentence of justification, not very elaborate one, but a quick one. How are you going to prepare for that? Undoubtedly, we're having our MCQ series, which are going on. So uh, with that, you can prepare. And uh, otherwise, also, you must practice a lot of MCQs because in MCQs, you are being asked the details um, inside the chapter. I mean, if you read the entire content prima face, you'll never be able to get that MCQs. Okay. Now coming to section B, you have to answer any five questions out of the six questions. So here you have a choice and you can select uh, the best five questions that you know and you can appear for them in your examination. So each question will have different parts but will collectively be a question of 16 mark each, right? So it will be divided into parts. In fact, the last question usually is write short notes on whereas again you are being given an internal choice, right? So overall you can have this particular idea and you can prepare yourself accordingly. For 2016 syllabus, I would insist that the students be um, more prepared for case studies because in most of the questions you are asked case-based questions however now when we move to the new syllabus that is 2022 syllabus we have been uh, we have this divided into three sections section a exactly the same as an old syllabus section b you have immense choice i need four out of six questions but only four questions have to be attempted in section b which are usually direct questions and in section C, you have one case <coughs> based question, which is compulsory. So section A and section C is compulsory. And from section B, you have to select four questions, which you are going to appear for your examination. Now, again, the students have confusion. Ma'am, okay, fine. We get it that we are being asked more direct questions in new syllabus compared to the old syllabus. But again, how do we prepare ourselves? Undoubtedly, we have to read the entire content and we have to read the entire content in depth because otherwise we'll not be able to get the MCQs, we'll not be able to get the case study based question. And even to understand this question that why they are asking because they don't uh, exactly ask you they may slightly twist the question although you have to mention the direct provision but then you should know what you have to write in the question that is also a very big question in front of students so for that what are we going to do um, please stay tuned I will also come up with uh, or I'll release a set of top 50 questions or top 50 important questions your super important questions whatever you may call it for your examination but that will be of course before examination right so hope this was uh, helpful this was just a quick update on the paper presentation please prepare yourself accordingly thank you